Hello YouTube. As you know, this is my 2000 Mercury Grand Marquis. I just lowered it. I also installed some new wheels. There are 17 by 8 in the front, 17 by 9 in the back. And uh, what I did with the front was I bought a pair of uh, Eaton Detroit lowering springs. It's supposed to be a two inch drop. Okay, and I uh, put a couple miles on it, so I think it's settled. But I used to just put four fingers in there. Now I can just stick one. So it dropped the front two inches. The back, on the other hand, I use uh, a set of Moog springs. For a 68 to 72 Chevelle SS but this one only dropped the rear end an inch and a half which means I only can stick one finger in the back since the front is lower two inches and the back is lower an inch and a half it does have a rake a one inch uh, rake in the in the in the back. It's about a not a half inch higher in the back, but it has a nice rake to it. So I'm, I like that. So um, the gap is one is uh, the same, but the back is a half inch taller. So it has a nice little muscular rake to it, as you can see here. I say mission accomplished, and I didn't have to cut a spring or anything like that. I think this is the best way to do it. I heard that uh, you can get a lower drop in the back if you use uh, the coil springs from a GT500, a mid-2000. But uh, I like the decision of using the Chevelle ones. I'm going to leave a... Link in the description so you can get your springs. And if you want to follow this uh, direction. Until the next video. I'll see you.